Well, there's an old abandoned dumpster. That looks like it'd be in pretty good shape if somebody just scraped it down a little and put a coat of paint on it. I don't know why that would be sitting up here in the middle of nowhere. But anyway, let's move along. And I was saying I didn't want to go where it was crowded trying to do any hiking. I'm really trying to stay away from this coronavirus thing. Uh, I have previous health conditions. I don't know if I've ever mentioned it, but I had a heart attack 15 years ago last January. And uh, with that came high blood pressure and I'm taking a whole bunch of pills and all that stuff. So, I really want to stay away from that. But we have issues. To me, uh, I was watching a show on TV this morning on a, one of the early Saturday news shows. I think it might have been ABC. Where, of course, they had this nutrition per person on there saying that old people and people with previous conditions and all that kind of stuff should uh eat all this fresh food and not processed food and uh i think that's kind of kind of hard to do when you're trying to hold up in your house for weeks because you can't keep fresh vegetables and stuff like that or fruits even during normal times i buy a bag of oranges let's say for an example and uh before i can eat them all then they start getting all that green this and <laughs> blue stuff growing on them you know so the only thing you can keep for a long time is canned goods, which are high in salt usually, uh, frozen processed stuff. I've read the labels on canned fruit before, and uh, I don't know where everything goes when they can them, but if you'll look at a can of, look at the little, uh, you know, vitamins and minerals and stuff that are in a can of, you know, peaches or whatever, you pears, whatever you want to look at. There doesn't seem to be much left in there. But anyway, I guess we all just have to do the best we can. So, we can get exercise. And that's what I'm doing today. Staying away from crowds and getting exercise. So I'm really happy that uh, I have to assume this is Alabama Power. Let's look at these lines through here. I have to assume that this is Alabama Power. They're keeping a side of this kind of cut down I guess so that they can get their vehicles through here uh oh there's a fence gate I guess that's going to be the end of it don't ask me why there's a fence gate on an easement Thought I had me a real good hiking spot here. Maybe I don't. I hope this GoPro 7 it's supposed to have a built-in stabilizer. 
Let's see. So we've got us a notice up there. Do not enter this property without written permission. If you go on this property for any reason without written permission, you will be agreeing to pay a non-member trespass fee. So I guess this must be a hunting club. Oh well. There went that idea. So anyway, uh, Monday I'm either going to go to a state park and hike or I'm going to pull my kayak out and kayak. And I'll explain a little about fishing if I take out the kayak. Now what we're looking at here is a bunch of blackberry bushes. And there are a lot of them out here. So hopefully, I think it's about the end of May, maybe uh, maybe middle of May, we'll start seeing some ripe blackberries on there. And I love blackberries. So I got the big end on my little path I was walking on. So I'm gonna walk back into this woods a little bit. I didn't see any no trespassing signs right here. But this is a, I'm not gonna say this is old growth because the pine trees aren't very big. I don't know how much old growth is left anywhere. But I did something earlier. You probably already seen those little close-ups of some small flowers I took. I sit down there. I didn't sit down, but I kneeled down on my knees and had my left foot right in a red ant fire a fire ant they call them fire ant nest and that's not what you want to do <laughs> i thought i was gonna have to get back up here in the woods and take my dog on pants off because they had uh, a couple of them got all the way up the pants leg to my waist. So, <laughs> pay attention. Sometimes when you take off on these little short hikes, you don't even think about being prepared like you would if you had planned out some really good adventure. But all these little dangers like ants and spiders and snakes and all that kind of stuff are just as present in this little woods close to town as they would be out in a really large national forest or something so anyway i'm going to call this quits I'm sure I'll come back here to get some exercise without having to go somewhere and drive my car and run out of gas and run into a bunch of people coughing in my face. So for now, we'll call this quits. Everybody stay safe and stay virus free and Hope you all live a good life.